BBC News, Runji Zango Kataf. And to other stories, unions in the aviation industry have withdrawn their services over the non-release of the reviewed condition of service, that's the COS, as negotiated between them and four aviation agencies for over seven years. Others are non-implementation of minimum wage consequential adjustments and arrears for the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, since 2019, and the planned demolition exercise of all the agency buildings in Lagos by the Minister of Aviation for an airport city project. The leaders of the unions, that's the National Union of Air Transport Employees, Air Transport Services Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Association of Nigeria Aviation Professionals, National Association of Aircraft Pilots and Engineers, and the Amalgamated Union of Public Corporation Civil Service Technical and Recreation Service Employees, in a press release earlier announced um, a 14 days ultimatum which has expired. Meanwhile, the action by workers have caused a major gridlock around Ikeja access. And senior correspondent Sharon Jason joins me for more update. Um, Sharon, this is not the first time we're seeing um, protests by unions in the aviation industry. What more can you tell us about this particular protest? It's a long day here yeah, already. It's just uh, 1 p.m. But in Lagos, Nigeria, I can tell you for sure that um, many people are much most especially and transport are not happy about the development. Everywhere in Lagos is blocked. Lagos is about an expert that's where it's blocked. I need I needed to take a walk down to the airport for me to be able to get up with collecting. One information I'll give you for sure is that um, there is this pattern of uh, government and management stakeholders not um, all keeping up to their commitments, especially when uh, there is a collective bargaining agreement. This collective bargaining agreement that uh, the workers are demanding for is an agreement that actually has been uh, reached into seven years ago. And we know that government is, um, is, is about to transition. So definitely, maybe these workers are really concerned about the fact that they might not be able to get what um, is due to them if they do not do the label right now because, of course, this particular administration is already wrapping up. Mm. Um, Sharon, I know that there are issues around wages and, and arrears, but one of these particular issues is very striking which is the fact that there is a planned demolition exercise of all the agency buildings in Lagos. Um, and they said that that's by the Minister of Aviation for um, an airport city project. What more can you um, tell us about that? Well, the truth is about a year ago, um, the federal government moved um, all agency headquarters to Abuja, meaning that most of the offices in Lagos might not be as operational as it used to be. However, the workers are not happy about this development. Many of them also have their unions and secretariats in these facilities. For them, um, demolishing um, these particular offices in Lagos might mean that more workers might be rendered redundant. Uh, MM1 is shut down totally. Um, actually, in front of MM2, activities are still ongoing MM2, probably because it's uh, actually privatized. However, for for anyone that might be trapped, might actually end up missing their flight because of the um, spillover or the grid lock, uh, grid lock in, uh, from the airport to catch the underbridge towards uh, Atlanta Avenue and other parts of Kedja. So, for those that actually would have to, actually have to pass their flight later in the day, I'd like to for them to actually leave their own to the office two times so and then they can meet some of their flight. Thank you so much, Sharon, for that update. We'll see how the relevant authorities respond to um, this particular protest. Our correspondent, Sharon, is just on live for us at the Moritala Mohammed um, Terminal 2 in Ikeja. Now, let's turn to other stories. We're staying with labor matters as they search for gain 